हेलो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट वी विल कंसिडर डेटा प्रेजेंटेशन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज डेटा प्रेजेंटेशन हाउ विल यू प्रेजेंट दैट डेटा सो हियर फॉर द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा वी कैन यूज द ग्राफ सो ग्राफ इज वॉट इट इज अ विजुअल फॉर्म फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ डिफरेंट एडवांटेज ऑफ ग्राफिकल प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट इज इट प्रोवाइड्स एन अट्रैक्टिव एंड इम्प्रेसिव व्यू सेकेंड वन इज इट सिंप्लीफाइज द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ डेटा it provides easy comparison of two or more phenomenon it needs no special knowledge of mathematics to understand a graph it provides the basic to locate the statistical measures like median mode quantiles etc it saves the time and energy so these are the different advantages of graphical presentation now commonly used graphs are histogram frequency polygon ojai or cumulative frequency curve stem and leaf plot so we'll see one by one now first is histogram one of the most important useful methods for representing frequency distribution of continuous series is known as histogram so histogram is used to represent what frequency distribution of continuous series histogram is nothing but it is a bar graph which shows frequency distribution now steps to draw the histogram the magnitude of the class interval is plotted along the horizontal axis and the frequency on the vertical axis so on the horizontal axis we have to consider what class interval and frequency on the vertical axis each class has lower and upper value so it gives what two equal vertical lines corresponding to what frequency now upper ends of these lines are joined together so that it forms a rectangle now see here histogram see this example here wages are given in rupees these are the class intervals 0 to 10 10 to 20 and so on number of works workers are given that is nothing but the frequency so for the horizontal axis here we have to consider what class interval so see for 0 to 10 0 is the lower limit 10 is the upper limit so here these are the two vertical lines now see number of workers are here 5 so here this is 5 so for this this is vertical line for 0 and this is vertical line for 10 that is for this class interval now join this horizontal line so that here rectangle is formed same for the 10 to 20 so 10 to 20 value is 8 frequency is 8 so see this for 10 your vertical line is up to this and for 20 it is up to this now join this with the help of horizontal line same for 20 to 30 it is 10 now see it is 10 so here these two vertical line sorry vertical lines it is connected with the help of horizontal line so it forms again a rectangle for 30 to 40 again it is 14 so here these two vertical lines are up to 14 and join with the help of this horizontal line in this way you can draw this histogram for the given data so next frequency polygon so here frequency polygon for a group frequency distribution with equal class intervals a frequency polygon is obtained by joining the middle point of the upper sides so we have seen already in the histogram see so for that histogram we have to consider what middle point uh, of the adjacent rectangles of the histogram by means of a straight lines so we have to join this middle point with the help of straight lines to complete the polygon the midpoints at each end are joined to the immediately lower and higher midpoints at zero frequency see here see this example again the same example is there histogram is already there so we have to draw here frequency polygon how you you can, you can draw here see consider the midpoint of this now midpoint of this midpoint of this one and so on see these are the midpoints of this histogram now join this midpoint with the help of straight line so that you will get the frequency polygon now see straight line see here you can join from here to here again from here to here again see from here to here and last one is this so this is nothing but what frequency polygon for the given data items now next ojai or cumulative frequency curve see here when cumulative frequencies are plotted on a graph then the frequency curve obtained is called as ojai or cumulative frequency curve now ojai determine what median quartiles and percentiles we will see later on this 
the class limits are shown along the x axis and cumulative frequencies along the y axis. Now, there are two methods for constructing ozai curve. First is less than ozai curve and second is more than ozai curve. Now, less than cumulative frequencies are plotted against the upper class boundaries of the respective classes. Then, the points are joined by a smooth free end curve. Simply you have to join with the help of smooth free end. Now, more than ozai curve, more than cumulative frequencies are plotted against the more class, sorry, lower class boundaries of the respective classes. Then the points are joined by again same smooth free hand curve. See for this less than ojai curve, we have to consider what? Upper class boundaries of the respective classes and we have to consider here less than cumulative frequencies. And for the more than, here more than cumulative frequencies we have to consider. Now see this example. Here in the table, marks are given in the interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20. These are the different classes. Now, number of students in the respective classes are there. Now, less than cumulative frequency is already given 10, 30, 60. You can calculate also this. Now, more than cumulative frequency also here it is given. Now, you have to draw what? Ojai curve. So, see, first is first 0 to 10. See, this is the class 0 to 10. For that, less than cumulative frequency is what? 10. So, see here 0 to 10, it is 10. Now, for the 10 to 20, it is 30. 10 to 20, it is see 30. So, here we can join. Now, 20 to 30, it is 60. 20 to 30, it is 60. So, here we can construct this. 30 to 40, it is 110. 30 to 40, it is 110. So, here this is the point. Now, 40 to 50, it is 150. So, this is another point and 50 to 60, it is 180. So, this is 180. So, we can join all these points with the help of smooth free hand. Now, next, more than cumulative frequency. For this 0 to 10 class interval, here more than cumulative frequency value is 180. So, here see 180. Now, next one for 10 to 20. It is 170. So, here it is 170. After that, 150 is there. So, see next one. After 120, according to the even classes. Huh? Next one is 70. And last one is your 30. And last, end this up to what? Last class interval that is up to 0. Okay. So, this is what Ojai curve for less than cumulative frequency as well as more than cumulative frequency. Now, Next topic is stem and leaf plot. Now see, one of the useful techniques of exploratory data analysis means if you have to present the data, if you have to generate what exploratory data analysis part, in that case stem and leaf displays technique is used. So, it is a graphical display of the numerical value in an effective and condensed form. Stem and leaf displays are useful for displaying the relative density and shape of the data. Then, stem and lip displays separate values in day to data set into leading digits and trailing digits. Now, in stem and lip plot, each data value is split into what? Stem and lip. Now, see, lip is usually the last digit of the number and other digits to the left of the lip form what? Stem. See, for example, here number is given 123. In that case, here stem is 12. First, you have to consider what? Lip. Leaf is here 3 and stem is here, remaining digits are 1, 2. So, it is stem. Now, see another example. Here, in this example, different data items are there. See, 12, 23, 19, 6, 10. We have to prepare a stem and leaf plot for this data. So, how you prepare? First, consider what? Stem and here, leaf is considered. Now, see, first data item. That is the smallest. We have to consider ascending order. Huh? First 6 and 7. So, this 6 is nothing but the 0, 6 and this is nothing but the 0, 7. So, here lift for these two data items are 6 and 7. But stem is here 0. So, 0 is common for both. So, write down in only one single time. This is first one, huh? stem and lift. Next, consider this 12, then 19, 10, 15 and 12. Okay. Now, see in this, see here, leap part, huh? 12, 
19, 10, 15 and 12. So, see leaf consists of these two, then here it is 5, here it is 0, here it is 9, here it is 2. So, smallest value is what? Smallest is here 0. So, first write here 0, then next one is C, 2 is there. So, 2 here is 2 times, so write down here 2 times, this one and this one. Now, next one is 5, so write down this 5 here. Now, next 9, so 9 is here. Now, for this stem is single, so write down here 1 single time. Now, next remaining is 23, then 25 and 21. So, here stem is here 2, then 23, 25, 21, ascending order 1 is the smallest value, then 3 is the next value and 5 is the next. So, this is what representation of stem and leaf here.